We can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. Not quite the six million dollar man. And you're very flashy. But Dean <laughs> Lloyd is worth much more than that in the world of science. He's one of 14 people in the United States. That's the power on button. Seeing through an artificial retina. It's amazingly reliable. In 1974, Dean's world went dark. I lost almost all my vision in six months. In 2007, after a three hour operation, his sight, though limited, returned. The beauty of the human brain is when you've had sight at one time, the brain's seems to save the images. The camera on Dean's glasses captures an image and sends it wirelessly to an implant in his eye. That stimulates his optic nerve to create an image in his brain. Whatever reflects causes a flash. Usually it's eyes, now light colors. As I'm looking at this, I'm looking for an edge. That's what I see in my brain, is a boundary or a border. The next generation for Dean's implant, one that could help him see details and faces, is here. We basically use micro nanotechnology to make this electrode array. Satinder Paul Panu has the artificial retina project at Lawrence Livermore Labs. He took us inside the clean room where the implants are made. Starting with a silicon wafer and a thin coating of polymer, the disc is processed, electrodes are added, and the implant is encased in titanium and gold. It's actually a very rewarding feeling. It's, it's amazing to me that technology that we've developed here at the laboratory can actually restore someone's sight. Here's how the device sits inside the patient's eye. This part is implanted in the white part of your eye, while the film holding the electrodes sits on top of the retina. Dean's implant has 60 electrodes. The current implant features 240, but Panu says a 1,000 electrode version can be made now. Because that's where they actually have usable vision, recognize faces, be able to read. Panu says in 10 years, 50 million people in the world will suffer from blindness that these implants could reverse. We really would like to take this technology to where we would actually have a digital camera embedded right into your retina so it'd actually be able to restore your vision completely. We have the technology. Dean Lloyd says the technology that once seemed so far out there, it was only the premise for a TV show He's here to brighten the world one eye at a time. I love science because it's the wave of the future. It's changed all of our lives. Vicky Wen, NBC Bay Area News.